Bart's where to start a fantastic second half from us, four tries, but unfortunately just left ourselves with a bit much to do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a repeat of last week, you know, carbon copy. We came out in the first half and let ourselves down a bit. Jersey were ruthless in their driving line out, especially in their set piece across the board. And, you know, we, we definitely came up short there. Um, but we spoke at half time about having the belief that we, we could come out here and, and score tries and, you know, try and win, bring the game back and come off with our heads held high. And, you know, we, we, we had the belief in bucket loads. And I think the boys can be, can be proud of the performance that we finished the day with. But again, it's, it's, it's bittersweet just because the result, we kept it so fine once again. Yeah, um, let's get the bad stuff out of the way. The first half was, uh, you know, a poor one by our standards, and uh, but in contrast, the second half was possibly as well as we've played all season. It just, uh, it's a funny one this year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, that game reflects our entire season. Yeah. You know, when it, when it comes to ups and downs, it's, it's been a bit of a roller coaster in terms of performances. Um, it's, it's hard. It's hard to know what to take out of it and what to say. You know, we. We'll just focus on what we can improve on from that first half and, and try to understand why it took us till 20-3 to 3 before we actually yeah. started playing any rugby. Yeah, uh, the set piece in the second half gave us a great platform to go forward, scored a couple of rolling mall tries and the scrum allowed us a few penalties to get down and um, looked like we had, to, you know, we had a, a, an awful lot of chances in that second half. Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, we, we had good good analysis system going on at half-time which allows us to see where the opportunities lie in the line out because in the first half they defended it really well. Um, I think credit to, to Big Quills, it was nice to see him back from injury, yeah. coming off the bench and adding some kilos into the front row and uh, he, he, he did his job today, which is good to see. Yep. Um, I think the, it's a beautiful day out here, I think that showed what we can do when we throw the ball around, particularly in that second half, looked like a fantastic team. Yeah, without a doubt, I mean, we, last time we were here was Leeds and the weather was horrendous and we managed to play a bit of, a bit of champagne rugby, yeah. so I know we were all really excited for this fixture to get the ball in our hands and chuck it about and, and sort of do what we do best. Um, Jersey were obviously aware of that and just didn't allow us to do it in the first half and credit to them for doing that really. Yep, a real, real kind of grindy game this afternoon. You as a second row got yourself you know, millions of tackles, the man of the match award. Um, it was that kind of game. It was a, just a really physical encounter. Yeah, it, it was. You, you always know it's going to be physical with Jersey. They, they're simplistic and they're, they're good at what they do. They've got big men and they're very direct and they're, they're pretty resilient to break down in the tight. Um, it's, it's the nature of the game. It's, it's nice to have the award, but it's, it's pretty bittersweet to come up short like that. Yeah, uh, just thinking about the game again, why, why, you know, we look so good in that second half. Why do you think it is that we just can't string together such a consistent performance? It's, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously, we spend the week preparing for, for, you know, to, to, to play against the Jersey side we've pre seen in previous weeks, but at the same time, they spend their week preparing to play against yeah. us and they make their tweaks and their adjustments and perhaps we were just slightly slow to adapt to what they were doing um, and we, we play an expansive game of rugby but that does mean that we risk making errors and uh, those errors led to scrums which unfortunately today nearly always led to penalties yeah. and then we had we put on the plate their biggest weapon which is their driving line out you know yeah. Um, let's take positives. Uh, huge week ahead, London Irish next Saturday. Those are the kind of games that everyone want to play in at this level. And um, you know, play like we did in the second half. We'll go to the Medeski with a real chance. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, London Irish, have, you know, they're, they're significantly ahead in, in the league in terms of their, the way they perform and their points. So we can go down there with absolutely nothing to lose. And I think the boys were really excited to just go down, and get the ball in our hands, and, and try and put on the performance that you know we're worthy of and that we can be proud of, and, and see how tight we can run these boys. There's no reason to say if we play. With the width and the skill levels that we did at put times in that second half, we can really give them a run for their money. Well played today, superb. Uh, JD, where to start? A um, pretty terrible first half, but an incredible second half, and at the end, uh, just miss out by a few points. It was, yeah, yeah. It was a real, <laughs> it's an old game of two halves. You know, it's very unlike us not to to come out at home in that in that first quarter and really and really be on top. I thought that we had a, a clear game plan and uh, we've seen fruits of that in the second half. But that first 25 minutes, if we're being honest, was was just all about Jersey. They came and uh, I think if they could have you know had a perfect plan that they wanted to do going from scrum and, and line out mall in that in that first 25. Um, that would have been exactly what they wanted, and they got that. And uh, we just looked a bit hesitant the first 25 minutes, and uh, you know a bit rattled. And we conceded far too many points in that in that first half to give us any realistic chance. We know that you know being, a, being with the team for 60 minutes that we'll get it, but we left ourselves a lot to do in that changing room. Credit to the boys for for giving such a fight the second half. Yeah, uh, four tries in the second half, just absolutely outstanding. And probably if we're honest, Jersey may admit this as well. We were almost beaten by the clock because if we'd have kept going, it was just chance after chance, wasn't it? 
Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt. I thought there was a couple of periods just when we had the, the edge there, certainly going through that the yellow card. Ten minutes as well, where there was a couple of reset scrums. There seemed to be a lot of messing around there. We lost three or four minutes off the off the clock. And as you see, yeah, the, the time just beat us. Um, but if, if we're honest, in that first half, we gave ourselves a bit to do. Yeah. It's easy to sit in the changing room and you know, you're looking at 31, you're staring down the barrel of a gun there and you, to say the words that need to be said at half-time. But for the players to go and deliver what, what they actually did, the belief is, the belief is there. Um, and again, scoring 33 points um, against anybody in the, in the league is going to get you more, your yeah. bonus point wins. And today it just wasn't enough. Uh, and uh, again, it's coming underpinned by that, that first 25. Yeah, um, considering we were so far behind at half time, uh, we've got two points out of the game—a losing bonus point and a four-try bonus point. You know, they could be—they could be crucial. They could be, yeah. And I think looking at you know, the, the post Christmas, we've looked at being consistent. You know, a young team, first half of the season, a bit up and down. We've been consistent through the performances, but we're now getting to that stage where we, you know, you're. you're three or four points, um, defeat here a point last week, a point the week before you we've got to try and turn these over now, you know, we're doing enough in the game, the effort and the, the, the expansive, the, the exciting rugby that we're playing, I mean some of the tries today out the top draw in, in any league, in any, in any game um, but unfortunately we've not got the win and that, that is a key part and uh, again we'll, we'll get the sleeves up again this week and uh, big big challenge going away to the league leaders at London Irish next week but uh, these guys have, you know they're playing rugby, they're enjoying themselves and uh, you know, if we can tighten up a few areas then um, we'll hopefully be can, you know, competing next week as well. Yeah, um, as a supporter it might, they must find it so difficult to understand it was the same in Pirates, just a brilliant second half performance but why is it that we just can't pin down a, a consistent performance do you think? I think if we, if we knew the, the answers to that, we'd all be uh, very rich men and we probably wouldn't be you know, involved with rugby. But um, no, in all sports and whatever else, we go through periods. We've had so many periods when we're away from home yeah. that we do exactly what Jersey did to us uh, in our home patch in that first 25 minutes. So, again, I think that there was there was some you know, some kind of decisions going either side there. There were a couple of errors for us that were really then forcing us back into scrums. Um, where Jersey are strong, you know, and Jersey you can see the tempo that they play at the size of the park. They want to go for set piece to set piece, and you know, with a with a clear game plan to try and keep them away from that yeah. area. And we, we played right into their hands in that first half, and we did it. We played at a slow tempo, which didn't suit us uh, against a powerful park. The second half, the absolute opposite from that. I thought we showed real brave. Um, you know, approach to that second yeah. half and scored and played some beautiful rugby. Yeah, um, as forwards coach, you must be pretty pleased with the set piece in the second half. Big, uh, you and McQuilla made a great impact. Yeah, and we've been missing him, if we're being honest, for the for the last eight or nine weeks that he's been out. And uh, it's no credit. I thought you know the guys that, that started. We were playing against the, one of the best scrummaging parks in the league today, and you know Grant Shields had tweaked up what on on Thursday with that back and real bravery for him to to try and turn that around. He's done everything he can possible yeah. to try and get to playing today, and uh, you know. Probably in terms of the turnaround, maybe it was a, a big ask for him today as well. I thought Johnny Harris and and Union, as you say, coming on done really well. But um, you know, we are that type of park. You know, we're, we're a lighter type of park. We're trying to play an expansive pass. A lot of our expansive game comes off that the forwards. Danny Kenny, I thought Ali Miller, Bola, you know, Joe when he came on today, and uh, the work from the middle rows was outstanding. Yeah. So um, yeah, scrum I think uh, we, <laughs> is going to be better for having Union back in around it. Um, and, and we'll kick on in the next week. Yep, um, a little snippet of what's to come with the lovely weather today showed everyone what we really can do in that second half when we throw the ball around. Looked a fantastic team. 100%, yeah, and I think you take that about two weeks to Cornish Pirates yep. playing on a, the exact opposite pitch and uh, in pretty blustery conditions, and we, and we produced the same. So, now we're, we're not going to change the way we want to play. We, um, I thought we'd got the the, the credit to our attacking game plan was absolutely spot on this week. It's just we didn't get enough chance to, to expose that or, or, or to implement that in the first half. So again, we'll, we'll get our sleeves up, we'll have a look at things, we'll, we'll get the game plan right for next week and uh, we'll hopefully try and be more consistent through the 80 minutes and uh, maybe not leave ourselves too much to do. Because if we're in a game like anything with that type of rugby, we can, we can, we can maybe steal it. Yeah, uh, finally, you've touched on already a massive challenge at the Medeski next weekend against London Irish, but we can take some huge positives out of this afternoon. 100% and we want more of the, the second half uh, rather than the front. We're going to play another formidable uh, unit up front, a big physical team, but again, they're unbeaten. So, um, you know, I think nobody will give us a, a chance of going up there and getting a result. So we'll we'll take the pressure off our own shoulders and um, we'll look at a, our own game and uh, we'll go and try and um, inflict our you know, brand of rugby on, on London Irish. And uh, hopefully it'll be a great game. It'll be a great occasion for the players as well um, to play a top team at a in, a in a top ground. And uh, um, we'll look forward to it. I'd like to say, well done.